Okay, going to hit one more savers, probably against my better judgment, because that last experience wasn't so good, but let's go in and see what we can find. Okay, so in the door and heading straight to the first end cap. And I spot this little swan, which I do end up picking up. It has kind of a Yadro look to it. This was a little French bulldog bank, but I think it's super new. Uh, so, yeah, even though Breed sells, he didn't, ha he didn't spark any emotion in me. That was it. This was cute. I would have picked it up, but not for $6.99. These are Tsum Tsum. T-S-U-M, T-S-U-M. Um, I probably should have looked up what that one sells for, but wasn't feeling it. And these, I totally would have picked these up, even though they're made in China. Art glass animals sell, but $10.99? Come on, savers! I always look at piggy banks, cute piggy banks. I, I might have even bought this if it had had its stopper. But without the stopper, it's kind of a no-go for me. You may notice I just really like to put my hands on a lot of stuff. The sense of touch can tell you a lot about a piece, uh, especially pottery and glass. You can, you can tell quality. This thing was cool and I brought it down but they wanted 10 bucks and it didn't even have the votive holders. Ugh. I have no idea what these were for. I, I want to, I don't know, a ring holder? This one even had a broken foot and it was still $5.99. I really, I really don't know what these were for. If you know, let me know in the comments. Cool dolphin. I probably would have got this guy too if he hadn't been $11. Neat cat plate, but I really, really don't like shipping plates. This is a Waterford, probably worth the $12.99, but not for resale. This, I believe, is a Blanco piece, Blanco glass, but there's quite a few of them out there, and the clear is not one of the more desirable colors. So at $9.99, again, this is a pass. Spotting this little terrier bank uh, that is almost exactly like the French Bulldog one that I saw kind of tells me that these are a contemporary item. This looks like just a, a hobbyist piece. It has some cool colors and birds, of course. I did grab this piece. It is marked, uh, it's, it's half price because it was a green tag. Uh, it's Upjohn Company, and I found out that's actually a McCoy company. Uh, at least that's how all of the other sellers have them priced, but it, it's one I probably should have left behind. 
I am gonna take it down to the antique mall and put 10 bucks on it. I'll still get my money back, but I'm always looking to do more than get my money back. Again, I always pick up these little art glass fish, but that one was really super broken. It was working out really good. I had mom manning the cart, so I was free to not worry about where the cart was, and I got to just have my way with the shelves. <laughs> I loved these. Absolutely loved these, but not at $12.99. And granted, I could probably put 25 bucks a piece on them. That does not give me the margin that I desire. I'm always looking for a, a $20 margin is where I'd like to be. So had those been in the $5 range, I totally would have picked them up. Again, the baskets overflowing. So much Easter stuff out there still. These were pretty cute. Kind of a marquetry, but the wood looks really new and price was too hefty. I had to kind of backtrack now back to the beginning of where the vases were. Somebody took these old mason jars and painted them, made them look a little, I mean, they looked cool, but not a lot of value there. I really liked this piece personally. It's not an old piece, but I, I really love the colors and the mosaic glass on it. But I, I have to really, really discipline myself and not keep buying stuff for myself because then I will look like a hoarder. I loved this piece, but it had that big old chip on it. So I don't even know what that says, but I did love that piece. And this one was right next to it. And for $2.99, that was definitely going in my cart. It's well done, even though it seems to be just a studio um, pottery piece, you know, a hobbyist piece, but it, it's well done with a nice subject matter. I see a vase up there. I totally missed looking at. Did you see it? The orange and black one? Yep, I missed it. Sometimes looking through the camera viewfinder, I miss things and I try to go back and look, but then I see things like this I totally would have bought if it wasn't 1049. I'm telling you the prices at this savers, <laughs> They have just gotten ridiculous. I thought these were actually pressed glass. I wasn't expecting them to be cut, but I definitely wasn't expecting them to be plastic, which is what they were. I am looking for things that have like etched critters on them or people or some kind of a artistic thing. I, I must say I do love how Savers lays out their artwork. It makes it so easy to shop and to find things versus how Goodwill puts them into the, the stacks that you have to go through and they're just such a jumbled mess. I love this. I love being able to scan these art shelves. This is going up on my inspiration wall. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. And I just, I love that. I love that. Because even when you fail, it's still a lesson that you can learn from and use to move forward in life. So it's one of my one of my mottos.
didn't really see anything else too exciting. Uh, this just seemed like it would be a shipping nightmare to me. Yes, even I would rather ship a table than a mirror. <laughs> Go figure. This was absolutely adorable and I was so ready to buy it. Except it was $7.99. $7.99! It was just a cheap little vintage plaque. Oh my goodness. And here, you know, they do have you kind of have to sort through the bigger ones a little bit, but they don't stack it so full that you can't go anywhere. This is actually signed uh, and it's a really neat, I believe it's a photograph. Um, i trying to zero in on the maker or the maker, the photographer or artist or what have you. Um, I said at the time to my mom, I said, you know, I'm just going to put this in the cart and I'm going to, I'm going to research it a little bit. And then it ended up getting checked out with me because I, at that point I'm like, oh, I forgot, so I went ahead and committed to buying it, so. We used to have a puzzle that was that print that my mom made into, I think she made it into a coffee table. More baskets. Always more baskets. Baskets in abundance. I think that would have held spoons. I'm now seeing these coconut monkeys everywhere. I didn't see them for a while. And, and I think they can sell. They're just, the pricing is just all over the place, so I tend to leave them. These were cool. Would have picked them up for probably $3.99, maybe even $4.99, but not $7.99. Another cute bunny, but he's like a buck ninety-nine bunny to me. I mean, there's stuff I definitely would have bought had the price been more reasonable. Like this giant rooster, but I wasn't going to spend $13 on him. I might even have gone to like $7.99, $8.99 on that rooster, but... <sighs> This is a cute set. I contemplated getting this, but it's definitely, it's not vintage and it it didn't even have, a, I guess it did have a mark, Kung Shing Taiwan. So definitely not like a high quality piece. Um, it's just cute. And I just noticed those yellow mugs up there. I bet those were, oh, who makes those yellow mugs? Now I can't even think. They're glass. Is it, is it Glass Bake makes them? Maybe. I spotted these goblets. These are Jeanette, Iris, and Herringbone. And they sell okay. I probably should have picked these up, but I couldn't quite make out. That said times five. The tag said times two. And they had all different marks as to where they went with. So I wasn't even quite sure how much they were priced. I think my confusion just led me away. Spotted these, uh, Las Vegas Golden Knights. Um, they're hockey, it's our hockey team. Super popular, even though these say Station Casino on them, I am going to grab them and put them in the, the antique mall booth for local sale uh, because they're very popular and I don't think the Station Casino part on it is really gonna detract too much. I took 
them all. It ended up being two sets of four at $2.99 each set. Not bad. Then I spotted these cute little, I guess they're like a, I don't know, like a little Demitas coffee mug. And, and I had to get them all safely back together as they got scattered onto the back shelf. Um, and again, a tag that says four, and yet there's that many on the shelf. I don't get it. I just don't get it. spotted this extra large Gary Patterson mug. It is a golf mug. And because Father's Day is kind of on everybody's mind, I went ahead and grabbed that. It should do okay. Independence, California. Didn't even know that was a place. This was kind of cool. Kind of cute. But not for a buck ninety nine. This had a really nice look to it. Westwood. My mom spotted this Green Bay Packers mug, which actually is a shareholders mug, which I thought was interesting. We went ahead and grabbed it because my brother is a hardcore Green Packers fan and mom thought, hey, we can have a birthday present. This mug feels like restaurant wear. Very high quality, not marked, but hey, it's got a dog, so worst case scenario, I get 10 bucks for it down at the booth. Mom even found a Starbucks mug. Although I find these ones don't sell as high and they wanted $5.99 for it. Holy moly. These were super cute, um, not marked, and I really did debate. The price wasn't bad, it was $2.99 for two, so that's, that's decent pricing. But because they didn't have any maker's mark, you can see there was a sticker there at one time, I let them go. And I don't even know why I didn't see that green picture right next to them. <laughs> Just shows you how much it gets missed when looking through the little viewfinder of a phone. I still can't tell you what that said on the bottom. I will be happy when my new glasses get here. I tend to like things with the letter D on them. Don't know why that could be. I love the look of this teapot, but not marked, nothing special. And then, just spotted these cool looking little cruets with these wood stoppers. Normally this wouldn't really appeal to me a whole bunch, but then I saw they were royal, 
I cannot say it. Worcester? Woo, woo, Worcestershire? Worcestershire? Oh my gosh. They're that, and they're good. You'll see me put my hands on this and rub. I'm checking to see how sharp it is. Cut glass is gonna be very, very sharp to the touch. Only other thing I spot is these brown glass dishes. They look pretty vintage, but I'm not much of a dishes seller. So, as I suspected, the price is, I don't know. Somebody at Savers Corporate needs a spanking because I know I used to spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars with Savers and now I come out of there with just a few things and not giving out bags unless you pay for them and then those bags don't even have handles. Oh my goodness, it's just, it's becoming a chore to shop there and Come on, I can't be the only one feeling this way. So if you're feeling this way about your local savers, please let me know. Maybe corporate will watch my videos and change their ways. Probably not. But <laughs> anyway, with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All right, see you on the next one.